Hi, my name is Maurice Bikai. Uh, I live in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, yeah, it's been uh, really hard these days to, you know, to make space, especially for my works uh, that needs a bit of space and, and uh, using power tools, all this kind of uh, um, process that I, I use during my, you know, um, my, my work. When I make works, uh, I really need the space where I can mess up, you know, so it's been difficult these days to do that at home. But I managed to, you know, to have a bit of space, to make space in my garage, I uh, work, uh, and also in the living room inside the house. I make a... Um, um, these days, I'm, 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 I'm mainly working on, a, on things that can you know, like on, on, on the papers, uh, Fabriano papers, but I really like uh, the watercolor paper, the watercolor paper, it's, it's a bit harder because I, um, I make, um, I cut plastics, you know, like two dimensional works, the collage with plastics, uh, plastic and, um, and, and stitching on the paper and then the other collages. And then uh, the stitching really works well uh, on the paper. Uh, the watercolor paper is is uh, it's pretty hard, it's almost like a board. But it's nice because I can stitch. So I placed it uh, on the table, and then I have uh, something like a um, like a blanket, sort of a towel blanket, I can say. Then when I, when I stitch first, I have to you know to make uh, just holes with the needle. And I use a um, different kind of uh, crochet, um, you know, as um, the the thread, crochet thread, and 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 and, and needle, special needle for that. Uh, and then you, you know, it's got many colors. You know, the, I've got many colors of the uh, thread uh, and, and needles, and I make um, I make stitching. On that and collage uh, using a glue gun um, and um, and you know the, the silicon stick it's a special glue that you use you have to plug it in and yeah sometimes a bit difficult with a, with a fume smell with my my kids around uh, and also there's a garage uh, when I can do some uh, you know, some some works there. You know, it needs a sort of mess up process. You know, like kind of uh, you're messing around. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I can't do it inside the house. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing these days. So I'm really taking my time doing that. Uh, you know, like it's not not uh, not on the deadline because everything is being like dead now. So I have, I'm, I'm really taking my time to do that. It's also quite uh, a, a very quiet time, I can say, for creativity. You know, like I have enough time. Although sometimes is when I'm under pressure, I can really be creative. But also I like the time when I'm not so pressured, so by, by a deadline. So I have time to experience and question my process and also look at new, you know, uh, new techniques, study them, and then do, you know, um, make some uh, drawings, and then study some uh, of the material that I haven't that I haven't used before. But that's uh, you know to to be able to use other materials, for example, uh, motherboard, plastic card then I really need a space, uh, the studio. But the garage can do it. But the only thing is in my garage, I don't have a plug. You know, like I can't use power tools. But I have uh, this uh, uh, cordless uh, drummer tool. And then also, I'm, I'm, I want to get some of the cordless um, uh, glue gun. That would be pretty much nice. In these days, that's also, I was thinking about that because of the lockdown and at some point at some point you can work outside uh the house in, in i mean inside the property or in the garage so i thought of getting myself some of the cordless glue, glue gun and some some more power tools zoomer tool 
to cut these things. And you know, she is rechargeable uh, tools. So that's, um, I've been really thinking about that these days. Uh, it's been it's been a very interesting uh, working in this uh, you know like uh, is working at home and uh, to be able to see my my children and my wife <laughs> every day. Uh, sometimes it's really difficult to work with my my son around, but I have to you know I have to do it. Um, yeah, that's a uh, that's a challenge of working at home. And then, but there's also there's a garage there, and I've got pretty pretty quiet time when I, I'm I, I'm there, but not really really working. But uh, maybe the the coming weeks I can be using the garage. But these days I've been uh, like taking it slow inside the house. Yeah, that's um that's what I'm doing now. So yeah, like doing uh for example uh, like weaving cables. That's a uh, that's a uh, things that I can do at home. The collage I can place on the table and work inside the house, weaving cables and weaving uh, 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 mutton clothes. You know, like cut them into pieces, like long pieces, like sort of thread, then we- weave them together. I can also like uh, before the um, the confinement. Uh, there's a a work that I experience that I really like. Uh, this week I worked on a on a three meter stretchers, like three meter by one meter for, for one meter 50, you know, one meter 50 by three meter. So I was placing it outside uh, in a, in a, in a, in a passage outside the house, just uh, in a, in a corridor there in a veranda, say, and yeah, I was, uh, because it's, it's pretty long three meters. So I, I need space to move around. So I'll place it in the veranda. And then I use it, you know. I use the no, the I use the the mutton clothes. I make a, a sort of a, a net. In, quite interesting. So these things, uh, it's nice to experience it at home and have that you don't have a, a studio like now. I can say I don't have a studio, so I make these things at home. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the experience that I'm having now. As a, con- a confined artist, is being is being very interesting. Yeah, thanks. Sir.